Hey, go get the door. Go get the door. You go get the door. I got it last time. No, he got it last time. I got it last time. It's in the probe. Welcome to the only show with a lower budget than the Cobb County School District, Tomahawk Today. Our budget might be low, but our spirits are high thanks to last night's honors night. Congratulations to all. Many of North Cobb's teachers and students gathered at North Star Church to celebrate their accomplishments and successes from this school year. Our own Flair and Gerlich even received recognition last night, but uh, we missed her just a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> celebrate the year, enjoying delicious, tasty treats provided by the culinary department. The main events were recognitions and scholarships, including the highly coveted Ray Kroc Award, which went to our man Brandon Tran. Several students were also recognized for their selection to the competitive Georgia Governor's Honors Program, as well as winning in several other challenging academic competitions, including Skills USA and Model UN. Action-packed day. Congratulations to everybody. Awesome job. And to everybody that was not there at the event just last night. And now while we're stuffing your heads with knowledge and success, the North Cobb tennis team faced off against Camden County in state playoff regional competition yesterday morning. We won't tell you who won, but what we will say was that it was probably a very long ride back to South Georgia for those Camden folks. So good luck to all the tennis stars who advanced to the next round of the playoffs. Awesome job to the Warriors. And while the tennis team is such a smash hit, the soccer team is a kicking their way into, well, they're just kicking. Let's take a look at last week's game versus Kennesaw Mountain. This season's been positive overall. We got off to a really uh, slow start, but uh, you know, we've done well in region. Um, this win gives us the third spot in the playoffs, so um, we'll be traveling down to South Georgia to play a second seed, but this was honestly one of our best performances of the year. So uh, it was a great time for our best performance of the year. I'll say that, great time going to the playoffs. Victor scores some good goals in practice, but he hasn't had too many good ones in the game, but that was one of the best goals we scored all year, man. events from this week. This Saturday is prom. Get all those flowers if you need them. You <laughs> That's better. right, Kyle. While the forecast doesn't look that great for the day, that doesn't mean your actions should be reflective of the weather. Of course not. And if they are, you may not get to enjoy this enchanted evening. Good morning, North Cobb. Prom will be held this Saturday, April 27th from 7 to 11 p.m. at the Marietta Hotel and Convention Center. You will not be permitted to attend prom if you have not signed a contract, you have not purchased a ticket, you are absent more than half a day on Friday, April 26th, you have OSS on Friday, April 26th, 
you have ISS that continues after Friday, April 26th, you receive disciplinary consequences that result in ISS or OSS on Friday, April 26th. Tickets are non-refundable and non-transferable. You must have a photo ID to enter prom. Darn it, Florina. Darn it. Oh, what has you in such a pickle, Kyle? I read it from the script. Uh, I seem to be out of my beverage cooling cubes. Do you mean ice? Yes, but that just doesn't sound nearly sophisticated enough. You know, it needs to have some more oomph. Well, it certainly works for Sydney. Speaking of cool things, I hear Powder Puff is coming up. Think about signing up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yes, on May 2nd, North Cobb will hold its, hold its annual Powder Puff tournament. What are you doing? Alpha. That's only for girls. in ice cubes. I seem to be lacking in caffeine today. Yawn. You know what you need right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need to get your workout to wake yourself up naturally. I suggest PVP 90X. It works for me, Paul Ryan, lots of other people. <laughs> Girlfriend. A uh, terrible boyfriend or a punch to the stomach? Well, that would be pretty bad and violent. I'm talking about getting a bad tattoo. That would be horrible. You know what would be even worse? A overly attached mother with a bad tattoo. That'd just be, that'd be bad. All right, Hello. see you later. Bye. What's up, Michael? Hey, what's up, Drugs? What's up, man? What's up, dude? You good? Yeah, so you're with Angelica now? I'm thinking about finally stealing the deal and getting a tattoo. Another tattoo, Charles? Really? We've gone through this before. Alright. That is like ten names. Like what? Eight. Okay? And plus they're crossed out. It's like they're not even there. You're making a big mistake, but your choice. Whatever, man. So, guess what I got? Um, I don't know. It surprised me. I got your name tattooed in my arm. A tattoo? There's like twelve names! Nine. There's nine names. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, how come I've never seen this before? Who's Dave? Ah, Dave. We used to be best friends back until he betrayed me that fateful day. Stop! I don't even want to hear it right now. It's just, this is just weird. I think you just went too far and I, I, I gotta go. Hey, what's your name? That's all we got for you today, North Cobb. And remember, 
If you would like to send us any suggestions, send us some letters. Written letters are just so much more thoughtful than tweets or Facebook or anything. If you could write it by candlelight, play some nice music in the background, we really would appreciate that. Thank you. All right, if you enjoyed today's show, watch it on YouTube and send us feedback on Twitter. Or send us letters. And remember to try and make somebody smile today. Smiles actually create more energy than scares. So, I've heard of that. Kyle, that was very similar to the plot of Monsters, Inc. Not intentional, I assure you. Thank you also to all the people that are helping out with the Senior Research Project. We really appreciate that. Anyways, only three weeks left for seniors. Let's go, Warriors. Adios. Bye. Mr. President.